Hello, one and all, I'm the Speedy Gamer, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Spyro Ripto's Rage, or Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage for that matter, what I believe to be a PlayStation classic. I love this game. And I need to do one last thing. I need to get to full screen. Smoothing on. There we go, looks, looks a little better. I hope it does. Anyway, let's access our memory cards in, from our PlayStation 3. And we're gonna do a new game. In the World of Dragons. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Meanwhile, in the world of Avalar, Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa! Rough landing. Hi! Which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! That jerk. That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? The adventure begins. Welcome to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, everybody! Now, for those who are wondering why am I not doing the first Spyro game... Well, honestly... I don't really care for it. I like this game a lot better. And I'm probably not gonna be doing Spyro 1 ever. Just not a big fan of it compared to the others. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Yes, I can, because I'm a freaking dragon! Alright, so, if you've never played a Spyro game, it's basically a 3D platformer. You jump, if you press jump twice, you can glide, you can spit fire, you can do this charge attack, which is really useful, especially for these lizard guys. 
you you know bump into things. Change the camera with uh, R1 and L1, or R2 and L2, sorry. I, yeah, you can do the same with R1 and L1, but still. Uh, you can use uh, the D-pad or the analog stick to move. Uh, the, the right analog stick is not used at all, actually. Surprisingly, not back then, not now. But I like Spyro. Spyro is a fun series up to, like, the third game. After after Spyro left PlayStation, things took a turn to the worse, the really worse. Anyway, there are collectibles in this game, which is n really not surprising for a 3D platformer. In this game, you have to collect gems. There are 400 gems in each level. Yeah, there are levels in this game. And there are 400 gems in each, and I'm going to collect all the gems, all 1,200 of them. I believe there's about 1,200. I believe. I don't know, maybe. I think that's rem. Also, we gotta kill all these enemies, too. That's also important. Also, each gem, each color gem, also has a, sp a different number. Which, uh, like, purple gems are 5, red are 1... Green gems are two. Oh. Pyro, I'm a friend of Alora's, and she's asked me to help you. Okay, and so she used checkpoints. Whenever she zaps you, that's a checkpoint. I'm just gonna skip over her. Interrupting my gem talk, so get back here, lizard. Now, we don't have to worry about getting all the gems right now because we are going to be coming back to this place. But yeah, so let's see purple are five, green gems are two, red are one, yellow is ten. And we will be coming across some rare ones, which are, uh, what is that? Some kind of, it's like light purple, and that's 25. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Yeah, so we, uh, later in the game, we will be learning to climb. And that's why we have to come back. So once we learn to climb, which isn't for a while... We will be coming back to this place. Now the gems also serve a better purpose because we are going to be paying someone. And that someone is at the top of the bridge. If you saw a bear, yeah, we're going to be talking to that guy. That's why you want to collect the gems in this game. You are not required to beat the game by collecting all the gems. But if you want to get 100% and a cool special reward at the end, you are going to need to collect all 1,200 gems. Let's talk to him. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. This is Moneybags. He will pop up every now and then, and you will have to pay him if you want to get something. I'm just gonna skip over his dialogue because why not? Because I was talking and no one interrupts my talking, not even rich bear people. To get a good look around, hold down the Okay, forgot to mention this. If you hold the triangle button, you will get a first person view, which is actually common in early first person platformers. Like Spyro and Mario and Banjo Kazooie, all that fun stuff. But of course, Spyro was was very Im was influenced by Mario 64, so it was actually a lot of platformers back in the day. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. We have the glimmer talisman. Talismans, you get them after you complete each level. And there's this portal which will take us back to Avalar. But actually, we don't want to go to Avalar yet. Because if we go through this window, we actually find more gems, as well as a whole nother area. With enemies and more gems and all that fun stuff. Also, I mentioned that fighting enemies are important. Now you see that little spear thing in the top right corner? If you get enough of those, you will unlock a special power-up. And that is flying, and so we actually need to talk to that mouse over there. So what he's got. Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, 
and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Yes, so we have challenges. These challenges are very important. Uh, so we have the super fly move. We touch it, we can now fly really high for a short amount of time. Use our fire breath to light all six of these gems. It's really simple. Like that one. And then we gotta do that one. If you press X, you will go higher, like this. And we also have a magic meter, so it doesn't last forever, but it's still pretty cool. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. So this is the other collectible. There are, there are just more collectibles than just gems. We have orbs. Orbs are very important in this game. There are 64 orbs in this entire game, which doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, actually, it's very important. Especially near the end of the game. You, again, want to collect all 64 orbs, which are all mostly done for challenges, and there are secret orbs that you can find just out of nowhere. But most of them are due for challenges. Some of them are easy, some of them are really fucking difficult. But really difficult challenges won't come till later in the game, of course. And actually, we have another challenge over here with this mouse. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Alright, gotta hit the little lizards with the rocks and we talk to Boonza, or whatever the hell his name is, here for hints. But we don't need hints. Basically, all you do, now you can shoot from a distance and try to hit them, but the better use is to hold down, oh my god, hang on. You gotta get right point, hold down the triangle button, and then shoot. Nice shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. Alright, so there, there are six lizards that we gotta find, also we gotta get this gem over here. Try to get all the gems you can, even though you are coming back to this stage eventually, if you are 100%ing this game. Because there is actually one orb challenge that we cannot get to right now. It's the one that involves climbing, of course. So we got that little lizard bastard over here. Oh. You can spit pretty far, Spyro! See if you can spit all the way to that lizard! Alright, I can. Let's see if I can do it without aiming. Nope, okay, I'm ha I have horrible aim, apparently. Grab it. Shoot it. Hang on. Shaking your ass at me on Spyro, bitch! So, ah, uh, damn. I need the super, fi the super fly power-up to get to that. He's just telling me the whole aim with the triangle button, circle button, shoot. Something I already explained. I see you there, you little jerk. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, they start moving now. They start moving to like different sides, which can make it a little tough, but Yeah, you know, let's see if we can get it. Okay, there we go. Alright, he's down. So now we are going to leave this area and actually where'd he go? Oh, okay. We're gonna go to outside here. Yes, they're all over the all these lizards are over the world. And all those gems up there we cannot get to right now. Give me that rock. I'm gonna shoot that lizard out of existence. Oh, that's how far I can go? Right in the head. Yeah, it's... It's kind of a long... It's kind of a dragged out challenge, but... Oh well. It's easy. Also, any, any enemy in this game... Feels like they always mock you. Like these lizards are like mocking me. And actually, I want some of these gems, so hang on. I'm going to say, screw the challenge, I need gems. Because trust me, gems are really important. And trust me, you will miss some. And you have to search throughout the entire stage just to look for them. It happens to me, and it will probably happen to you if you play this game. But collecting the gems are so much fun, they're so shiny. And trust me, shiny objects are really fun to collect. Plus, they, they always make this cool sound, and they're colorful. Colorful, shiny, nice-sounding gems. That's what more games need. 
Oh, damn it. Stay still, you little prick. There we go. And that's all of them. Yay! You saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. All right, we got one orb. Two orbs. Never mind. Now, if you open up the start menu, you can actually look, see how many gems there are, how many orbs. There are three orbs in this level, but we cannot get that last orb. We'll have to come back and get the rest of the gems and orb later in this Let's Play. Which actually, it will take a few episodes just to get back. Alright, so let's go. Let's go back to where that rat mouse thing gave us our talisman. And let's go, ow. Let's go for the portal! In Summer Forest. Oh no. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? Yes. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter... You can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. So that's the premise of the game, folks. Real simple. Collect gems, orbs, talismans, Burn Repto's ass, and we're done. Might take a while, though. Might not be a little later than lunchtime. Also, we have entered the first world of the game. There are three worlds in this game, and we have the first, which is Summer Forest. But we're going to explore Summer Forest in the next episode. So, next time on Let's Play Spyro 2 Repto's Rage. We are going to explore Summer Forest and find some other levels. So, see you guys next time.